Tunisia's main political parties have been campaigning hard in the run-up to this vote. Their promises are similar, to restore security and stability, promote economic growth and reduce unemployment. The Islamist Enhada party is one of the frontrunners. Enhada bases itself on the Islamic reference to present another explanation that makes democracy part of Islam, women's freedom and rights part of Islam, the rights of minorities part of Islam, and that makes dialogue the tool to settle disputes and the violence. Another favorite is the Nida Tunis or Tunisia's call party. Nida Tunis will take the identity of a party with a modernist, democratic and open project that also adopts the coexistence with all political parties that respect the basic principles of the constitution. But those who took part in the Arab Spring in Tunisia have also been speaking out. They say those who fought and died have been forgotten. The first day after the elections, we'll start a sit-in and we won't stop until our situation is fixed and until those who beat us up and killed the martyrs are held accountable. If not, it's easy. We'll do another new revolution because we did the revolution to remove the unjust, but injustice remains. 70% of the population has registered to take part in the elections. Presidential elections will follow the parliamentary poll with the first round set for November the 23rd. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.